What is up, my Concise Conversation family? I hope you guys are all doing well today on this Tuesday, December 7th. Wow. Um, I had a little wake and bake session, if you know, you know. But I was just thinking about something and I wanted to share it with you all because I was in the shower thinking about it and I was like, dang. I think just really clicked and I, again, no time like the present, so I just figured that I would hop on here and ramble for a little bit and see what you guys thought. Um, but I just think that, and not to get down, it's a cloudy day, so maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the mood down a little bit, but when I was in my depressive episode, I think the biggest thing that scared me was not having a sense of purpose and I know it scared me. I feel like I've always had, I haven't always known what I wanted to do with my life, but I always had a plan that I was going to be successful and I was going to figure out what I wanted to do and, um, you know, get there somehow. And I feel like when I was really depressed, um, I didn't have any hope that I would ever be successful. And I feel like that was, took a really big hit on my self-esteem because I feel like Everything that I've done in my life has, even though it's had its hurdles, it's always come with success at the end. And I feel like this was the first time in my life that I never saw success at the end of my journey. Um, and that was a really scary thing to deal with because um, I would just be like, what's the point then? Like, if you're not going to be successful. And I feel like this is very tied to capitalism and just social media and very high standards for yourself because no one should be basing their self-worth off of external success. Like, I think mine was a mixture of internal and external success because intrinsically I do know that I want to succeed, but I do think there's a big external factor where if you're not seen making money, if you're not seen like um, just being outwardly successful, then you're not valuable. And I think that's not true at all. Um, but going back to what I was saying, um, yeah, I just didn't see success at the end. And I was just like, then what's the point of even trying, you know? And, um, I think one thing that I've noticed now that I have like come out of this depressive episode with the help of my medication Go back to the other videos if you want to hear about it, but um, these antidepressants I feel like are really working for me. Um, I am on escitalopram, um, so I'll probably make a video, an update video about um, like everything that I've been going through with that. But I think one thing, I'll say one thing, I think this medication helped me gain mental clarity. Um, and I think coming out of my depressive episode, like I can see success again. I can see myself um doing the things that all doing all the things I want to do and being creative and um like doing these YouTube videos and I think for a long time I was bouncing around on while I was in my depressive episode I was bouncing around on, on what I wanted to do with my life and um right now I'm studying political science and public policy and I feel like I've always been interested in policy um so that has been like one thing that I feel like I've known that I can go into um, but while I was in my depressive episode, I remember going through so many different phases of what I wanted to do with my life. Uh, uh, my mom just got her master's in psychology and I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. Like maybe I'll go into psychology. And then under psychology, I found health psychology because I was really passionate about like helping people prolong their lives and live, you know, higher quality of lives. Um, and then after that, um, that was still like so that was one interest you know and i still have my policy interest and then another thing it was um i forget i was just what i'm trying to say is i was bouncing around from a lot of different things i wanted to do because i had no self sense of purpose i didn't know what i wanted to do i didn't know what i was good at it was just really confusing time you know um and i think when you are trying to find your sense of purpose there's always one thing that you're like even if it's a very tiny little voice, there's one thing saying that, like, that's what I want to do. Um, and you have to listen to that voice and you have to make that voice stronger because I feel like during my depressive episode, I was minimizing that voice a lot because I was just like, I won't be able to do it. Like, there's there's no chance of that ever happening, you know? 
Um, so now coming out of my depressive episode, like, I know the thing that I want to do is make these YouTube videos. Like, I want to be a content creator. Like, I want to do this because I feel like it's so beneficial to have these conversations and to be honest and to be vulnerable because um, not everyone out there has a person that they can look up to and they can say they can mold mold their life after that person or at least have a guide you know and i feel like me growing up i didn't really have a guide like don't get it twisted like i had my parents and they were very good mentors and they were very good um role models but i'm talking about in an age where social media is really big technology is huge and there's so many different identities i feel like i didn't have someone that i can look up to and say um i think i could kind of follow in their footsteps, you know? Um, so I feel like I've been forging my own path and I think that me sharing my experience, maybe I can be that person for someone else and that's why I wanna keep making these videos. And coming out of my depressive episode, I kind of connected the pieces and said like, this is what I wanna do. Um, I, I wanna do this. Um, I also wanna be in school. Um, so I'm, I am planning on getting my master's degree, but um, this is really what I want to do and this is what I'm passionate about and it makes me happy. So with that being said, the whole theme of this video is do what makes you happy. Find your 100% you purpose, um, whatever that may be and don't let anyone um, dissuade you. I found out that dissuade was a word. <laughs> Thank you. Um, don't let anyone dissuade you from following your passion because you're living your one life it's only you at the end of the day um and you need to do what makes you happy so that was a lot i hope it was chill oh i didn't even do a fit check hold up hold up i mean i was bumming it today that's why i just went right into the video but the hat is from forever 21 so is the jewelry little match matching um the pants, the cargo, I'm just wearing um, army pants, camouflage pants. And the jacket is limited edition. Y'all can't get it. <laughs> Y'all can't get it. Only side class. Shout out side class. But um, yeah, I just wanted to come on here, talk my shit real quick, and get out. Um, I'm going to be doing homework for the remainder of the day. I have a... 10 to 12 page paper due so <laughs> what the hell <laughs> but um i hope you all are doing well um it's a little cloudy day outside it's a little cutie whatever but um i hope you guys have an amazing day and i will talk to you later peace out